today I was thinking that we could have a girl's day uh, uh, with your money, of course. <laughs> Probably not today, Coco. This afternoon? No. T tonight? No, not at all today, Coco. I have a lot I need to get done and I need to focus. Oh, well, could we watch a movie later? No, Coco, not now, not later. I'm working and I need you to stop talking now. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just bored, but I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> well, I have to go where I'm loved. And clearly, Mama doesn't want me here anymore. So, I have to do what's best, okay? So, I'm going to pack my bags. It was... You need to stop hiding and come out. Coco! To Mama. Hi, Mama. I'm sorry I've been getting on your nerves. I never like to make you upset, and I see my presence is doing that. If you get this letter, I've already left. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Hopefully, we can meet again in the future. But until then, I love you. I wish you well and tell everyone I said farewell. I don't have any money on me, but I figure I'll get a job soon. Love, Coco. What in the world? No, Coco! I need to call the police! 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my daughter is missing and I need help. Ma'am, how old is your daughter and what's her name? She's nine and her name is Constance Streety, but everyone calls her Coco. Okay, ma'am, please provide me with your address. And did she say anything about leaving? Um, one, two, three, four, Sesame on a drive. Yes, she, she left a letter and I feel really bad because I had a busy day and I couldn't give her any attention at the moment. So I guess she felt neglected. Okay, please stay calm. We are getting the patrol cars out there immediately. Thank you, please hurry. <sighs> I am so sorry. Please, just bring my Coco home, please. Who's there? Hello? Coco! Huh? I thought you ran away. I did, to the closet. I know you didn't think I was gonna run away outside where it's stranger danger. I'm not crazy. Plus, Mom, I need dinner tonight. But why? Why would you scare me like that? I didn't mean to. I just wanted to give you your space. Coco, just because I was busy at the moment does not mean I'm trying to neglect you. And I do apologize if it came off that way, but you can never do that again. You had me so worried, which is a mean and selfish thing to do. I'm sorry, Mama. You think I could move back in? Absolutely. Woo! Thank goodness! Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, Teddy. We're going back in. Down, down, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Good morning, class. Today, we're going to be talking about how houses are built. Does anyone know? Uh, yes. Uh, uh Coco. Uh, I believe I know, ma'am. They usually use masonry, concrete, or wood. The construction workers, they go out there and they do it by hand. Every time I see them, though, I usually pray for them that they don't fall off the ladder. Because that would be bad. 
Oh, yes, that's correct. And that would definitely be bad. Yep. Uh, we got our house built from the ground up. Oh, really? How long was the process? Uh, I can't really remember how long, but I know it was a real long time because we stayed in an apartment while they were completing it. But we live in there now. Really? That is awesome. I'm so glad you got to experience that. How many floors is it? It's three. But Mama keeps somebody down in the basement and we're not allowed to go down there. Someone in the basement? Is it family? Nope, I never saw him before. I hear him through the ground though. And sometimes I hear women and children too. Oh my, well, do they talk to you? Oh no, Mama says that we are absolutely forbidden from seeing the people in the basement. She's always whispering and telling us to walk carefully too. Oh, okay. Oh, Coco, please stay in class for a moment. The rest of you all, have a great day. So, Coco, um, I wanted to talk to you about the people in the basement. Are they nice? Uh, they sound nice a lot of times, but a lot of other times they sound like they may be angry. Oh, do they ever come out? I'm really not sure, ma'am. Mama just tells us not to go down there. And the few times that I acted like I was going down there and I was just joking, she got really, really angry and told me that I better not. Oh. Okay, well, do you ever feel unsafe? Me? Unsafe? No, not really. I think it's kind of cool that people I never saw before live in my basement. You know, sometimes I pretend that they're my friends. Well, that's a positive way to look at it. Yeah. Well, Teach, I love to sit and talk, but Mama's waiting outside for me. She said today after school that we were going to go get me a surprise, and I don't want to miss it. Oh, right, right, right. I, I'm so sorry. Look, well, you go and you have some fun today, and I can't wait to hear about the surprise tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Miss Sweetie. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Look at you. I'm happy you like your surprise. <laughs> of course I do. It's all squishy and it smells good too. See? Smell it. Oh, it does. Oh. Who is that banging at the door? Who, who, who is it? It's the police. Oh, sh should I hide? No, it should be fine. Hello, sir. How can I help you? It's been brought to my attention that you're hiding people in your basement? What? Hiding people? Yes, ma'am. What am I to elementary alerted us that there may be someone being held against their will in your basement? Well, I can assure you no one is being held against their will in my basement. And why would my daughter's school even say... Wait a minute. Coco, why does this police officer think someone is being held against their will in my basement? Uh, well, the only person that I told people live in the basement was Miss Sweetie and the whole class. Well, did you leave out the part that I rented out as an Airbnb? Uh, yes, possibly, because I didn't know that's what you did. Sir, I am so sorry for this inconvenience. Um, what, here is my business license that shows I can legally operate in the basement. Oh, okay, ma'am. We're sorry for disturbing you, but... You may want to have a talk with her so she understands what's going on. Oh, I most definitely will. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Oops, did I do that? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. What you doing to the mama? Oh, uh, nothing much, old mama. <laughs> What? Did I say something? I thought we were giving nicknames. Yes, nicknames that are not insulting. You know, that are cute and fun. In insulting? Mama, it's not an insult to age. That's a blessing. I mean, yes, sometimes you might have your bones aching and you got grains popping out your hair and your back might hurt sometimes for no reason, but that doesn't take out the blessing in aging. Can I get an amen? Come on. A amen. Right, let's clap it up for Sister Me, Coco. <laughs> uh, okay, ma'am. Thank you for the lecture. Uh, okay. Do me a favor and wash the food. Wake me up in 25 minutes because that's when it'll be ready. Okie dokie.
Mommy, no problem. Let me set the timer now. 25 minutes. Okay, set. Thank you, sugar buns. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, my mama, mama. <laughs> Uh-huh. Just wake me up in 25 minutes, please. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna call my TT. Mm -mm -mm. Hello. Uh, hi, TT. What you doing? Oh, oh, can you come over today? Oh, coconut. I would love to, but I just have so much work to get done. Oh, can I help you? I'm pretty good at, well, I'm pretty good at everything. <laughs> I'm sure you are, but this is paperwork that would take a lot of explaining. So, how about I come over next week and we have a girl's day? Uh, okay, it sounds like a plan. Now, your word is bond, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, girl's night on you, meaning like you pay for everything because I don't have any money. All right then, girl's night on me. Ooh, thank you. So, TT, I have the next girls' night in like 10 years when I have a J-O-B, okay? I promise. <laughs> all right, Coco. It sounds like a plan. I will see you next week, all right? I love you mucho. Love you more, TT. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Huh. Ooh, it's time to watch a movie. <laughs> Hello? Wait, there's smoke. Fire! Mama! Fire! 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 Ah, mama! Fire! Fire! Mama! Turn on the fan! A, a, a fan? Yeah, just, just grab the broom! Grab the broom, Mama! Goodness! Come on, Mama! Blow your breath! Blow, blow harder! Blow, Mama! Blow, Mama! Blow! Come on, blow! Harder, Mama! Blow, blow! Oh, wait, no! up in 25 minutes I, I was but the timer didn't go off yet what time is it it's been two hours oh, uh, oops i forgot to press start coco we could have got hurt but did we die though oh i, I apologize now now coco you know that's a no-no are you confident Hey Coco, so Jayla's son is gonna be coming over. She asked me to babysit because she has a big event to attend. What's wrong? You, you're talking about Jalen, Jada's son, Mr. Sneaky, who tried to cheat me out the spelling bee? Well, yes, but Jalen is a good kid. He just made some bad choices. Uh, bad choices? Mama, he had on an earpiece at the spelling bee and had someone tell him how to spell each word. I'd say he's pretty tech savvy, witty, and sneaky if you ask me. I know, Coco, I get it. But you have to give people grace just like you'll need it too. I give him grace. Wait, uh, what's grace? Grace is when you're able to look past someone's flaws and leave them behind you. Even when they don't deserve it, it is your job to approach the situation with compassion and forgiveness. People make mistakes. Well? Fine, I'll give the kid some grace. What time is he coming? Oh, now. What, now? I didn't even get a heads up. Hey, Jaylee, come on in. Uh, hey, Jay. <laughs> Thanks, Jada. We'll see you later. Miss Shady, I really appreciate you for letting me come over. Oh, no problem. Make yourself comfortable. <sighs> not, not too comfortable now. Huh? Oh, don't mind Coco. She's just being silly. <laughs> I'll bring you all some snacks. So? 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 So, so? So, so? So, 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 what's up? Oh, nothing. I thought that you never asked, but you know, just been chilling, spelling words and all that great stuff. Oh, that's cool. You know, I do know how to spell a lot more words now. Oh, really? That's what's up. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see what you got. Spell friend. Friend. 
F R I E N D. Friend. See? That's easy. Uh, okay. Okay. Nice. Garbage. Garbage. G A R B A G E. Bam. Oh, snap. Look at you. Mr. I can spell now. Oh, call me the spell of beat. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing. Pause. You have to earn that title, and right now, we know who the champ is. <laughs> You're right, but next year, I'm coming for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's watch a movie. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, it really was. Ooh, let's play a game. Okay, it's some over there in the closet. New phone? Who this? I know it's ladies first, but since it's just a girl, not a lady yet, I'll go first. Oh, rude. Go. <laughs> Do you think you're wrong about Mrs. Rogers having 45 deep kids? It's true. <laughs> They're reading over my shoulder right now. <laughs> playing the game. Oh, sorry. I just had to ask. Whatever. I'm going to go get some snacks since your mom forgot to bring it to us. Uh, okay. Well, can you grab me something, please? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Uh, stop. What? What happened? How did you get back so quick? I walked? Yeah, right. It takes nine steps to get to the kitchen and you did it in six. What? Coco, you can't be serious. Oh, I'm so serious. Go walk that way. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see? Oh, it must be different for everyone. Uh, my bad, Jay. Yeah, no problem. Let's eat. Jalen for thinking you're a stinky cheater. You don't stink and you don't cheat anymore. I'm not and I like to be treated like a regular person again. You're right and I'm gonna treat you just as that right after I have you do one more test. Coco! Huh? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time 